Hi guys, um, it's me. So, for those of you who don't know what's going on in the community right now, a shitload of drama is still going on, and, like, people are mad at me, which, like, if you don't know, there's Erica, Star, Faith, Nathan, Beep, uh, Black Panther, Applejack and Briska Circuit, aka Briandall. But the thing is, I need to come out about a lot of shit, so... Um, I just, I'm, I need to just explain a lot of things. So, for those of you who don't understand, uh, so much shit has been going on in the community, and, like, nobody has forgiven me yet for the things, but the thing is, I also need to explain that nobody has really apologized to me for a lot of the shit they've said and done, where, if you don't know, uh... Like, I don't mean to talk bad about everybody, but guys, it's true. Like, Faith, Star, um, Nathan, Erica, if you guys, well, not, not really Erica, but, and Bri, well, I mean, Brian Dole more, uh, is more of who did it. But the thing is, when you guys have said and done shit to me, you haven't really apologized for it. Like, guys, come on. Like, especially what Star did, like, that was pretty hurtful, which I'll get to that later, but... Let me explain this. Let me fucking explain what's going on. So, yeah, I did have a I did have a moment of freaking out and pushing people away again. But the thing is, like, bring it, like, because I put I constantly keep having issues of pushing people away. But the thing is, I feel like nobody wants to help me. Is the thing because if, for those of you who don't know, I have made vents numerous times asking for somebody to help me, but nobody has really commented on my vents in MeWe and such. And then Briandall says, oh, Drew, you're just like Steven in the future series of Steven Universe. Dude, no, I'm pushing you all away because I feel like it's going to be a waste of your time. Because if you guys don't comment on my vents on MeWe, then I feel like you guys really just don't want to help. And I don't want you to waste your time. Because also, if you guys don't know, that's like, that's the thing. That's why I keep pushing you guys away. If you don't want to help me then, then I won't force you to. Okay, God. And, and... And then, like, the thing is, BP says, oh, well, guess what, everybody's busy, and Lena even said, well, maybe people don't know what to say. Guys, you, like, you could be so hurt, like, you could say, Drew, get your head out of your ass and stop being fucking sad all the time. You could say that, and I would still be okay with it, because at least you'd be acknowledging what's going on, which is all I'd really care about. Like, I'm not trying to seek attention or anything, but, like, I'm just trying to make a point, and... Like, shit's been going on in the community where, if, where, fucking, I don't, I'm sorry, but nobody has really been taking responsibility for their actions. Like, Faith, Nathan, Star, they've all, they've all just been constantly doing shit, and, like, then, then, like, they're, the, they, I'm sorry, but Faith has, um, Faith has done, like, where, okay, for, yeah, because for those of you who don't know... Somebody made hurtful comments towards Faith on her videos known as Ethan Sawyer, and she immediately assumed it to be me. But, like, like, but the thing is, she was joking about that, apparently. But I didn't find the joke funny, and... And, come on, guys, Faith, I'm sorry, but that really intimidated me. How, how do you... How do you expect that, how, like, how do you expect me to be calm with that? And also, Amelia, I even said, guys, none of you have apologized for, to me for any of the shit you've done. Amelia says, because nobody has to apologize. M Amelia, what the fuck? No, I even explained, guys, these are small problems. We need to just stop pushing fights. And Amelia says, Amelia says, yeah, to you it's a small problem. To everyone, it's a big fucking problem. No, I was taught this in school. Ra and Rascal, yes, I'm notifying you about this because this needs to be said. Every I need to come out about a lot of shit that's been going on. And another thing is, is that, like, like people, for fuck's sakes, just stop get, just stop fighting all the time. Because this is what's causing me to be angry all the goddamn time, is when we fight. And I don't want us to fight. I've even tried breaking the fights up, but it looks like I'm not good at doing it. So yeah, I'm staying out of the dramas this time. But I ask people to just, you know, be calm and not fucking fight like how we always do. It's not that hard. We just need to just calm down and realize that these are small problems. I'm sorry, but it's true. I know that there's those of you who are sensitive, but these are not big problems. Like, we...
I'm not joking. I've learned this stuff in school, and I've even gave the idea that we should try coping with it. But Amelia said, yeah, to you it's a small problem. To everyone it's a big fucking problem. No, it is a small problem. Guys, we need to be logical about this. Because a big problem, think about this. This would be something that was would be so in so hard to even solve. Like, we wouldn't even be able to start. These are, like, little fights. And we had them so much in 2021. Why not we just, you know... Just, why not we just let go? It's not hard. I'm sorry, but we shouldn't, like, I know holding grudges is not a bad thing, but it's still not an okay thing to do, because I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for shit that I've said and done, but you guys have done a lot of shit and said a lot of shit to me before, and you haven't apologized for it. Like, I don't want to force you guys to, so that's why I've just carried on not really saying much about it, because, guys, I don't want to force it down your throat to apologize, hell, I'm even, I'm even saying, like, I know I, like, Erica, I know I fucking said shit to you, but come on, I just wanted to help calm you down, you could have, I'm, like, like, if you just said, Drew, please, I want to be left alone, then, okay, I would have left, but you were being like, no, leave me alone, right, yeah, c guys, I'm sorry, but this is getting too out of hand, so this is why I feel like I should leave the community at, at some point, because nobody seems to be learning, Nobody seems to be calming down. Like, also, you guys have also, like, for, uh, for those of you who also don't know, there's been shit going on, uh, between me and BP, and, like, he's also said hurtful things like, oh, well, you know what, at least my father is still alive, or at least I have a father. Dude, what the fuck? Why would you say that? Why would you ever say that to me? Because you hurt me and I even showed that you did, but you really didn't care. BP, I never spoke shit about your family. Why would you do it to me? Why would you say shit like that? I'm sorry, but that is toxic. And when I even explained Star for the shit she did she was that was toxic, she said, Oh, so now you're saying I'm toxic, Drew. No, I'm not. Also, I'm sorry that I said you're like Ty Lee. I didn't know you hated being compared to her. I just said that because, oh, you know, you're fun and outgoing like her. Another thing, when I said that your, Af your African animal would be an elephant, I said that because you're a gentle giant, but you assumed I'm saying it because you're fat. No, I never fucking meant that. I never even meant to say it like that. I never even said you were fat, Star, and you're just assuming shit. I'm sorry, but that is true. You're just assuming and another thing, because for those of you who don't know, Star went out of her way and said, Oh, uh, no, Drew, you're, it was all your fault that you got into a fight with Erica. Well, because if you don't know, I got into a fight with her. But in short, it was both of our faults because we wouldn't, you know, cut ties and chill out. Whereas Star was constantly saying, No, Drew, you're lying. All you care about is yourself. And all you care about is making lies. I just think you're a dumbass slut lord lying pathetic shit lord bitch. Rascal, this is what Star fucking did. This is what she said to me. And she forced it down my throat to believe I was lying and Star never even apologized for a single thing she said I, I, how do you and then and then when I point when I point Star out for what she said Faith says Drew you harassing son of a witch no Faith I was pointing shit out I was trying to showing you guys what Star did but you all still took her side and weren't like oh you were like you babied her you were like oh Star you didn't do anything right you might have called Drew a hurtful name and forced shit down his throat but it's okay you're still the victim here you, you know no Rascal, I'm sorry, but I had to play along because I felt like I would look like a liar and I felt like everybody else would say, don't play the victim card, Drew, it's all your fault. Because that's what really happened. Faith falsely accused me and she also did the same with the video on Ethan's, with her, with her posts on Ethan Sawyer. She said, she constantly accused him to be me and then she said, oh guys, it was a joke. Um, in case you don't know, that was used to intimidate him. Faith... That intimidated me more than him, because he's a troll. You gave him what he wanted. So yeah, you basically fed the troll by arguing with him, rather than, oh, oh, you know, just leaving him be and deleting his comment and blocking him. No, instead, you falsely accuse him to be me, and another thing is, you're like, and then, no, 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 here's another thing. You, you intimidate me more, and you, like, you hurt me to a point where I really wanted to hurt myself. I'm sorry, but... Like, I can't fucking take it. You guys are never... You guys are not in the right either. You also falsely accuse me to... Oh, 
threat to threaten you and Nathan when all I did was tell you guys to apologize to Erica and BP for the damn fight. No, that was not a fucking threat. Okay? Stop assuming shit, guys. Because Eric like Erica, I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk bad about you either. But the thing is, you really need to stop being a grudge holder. I'm not forcing it, but like <laughs> holding grudges is still not a fu a friendly thing to do. Okay, because because holding a grudge, it just, like, like, my mom even said grudge holders are not good friends. So, I'm sorry, but, like, when shit happens, like, you, you shouldn't freak out about this. I understand that you were like, Drew, please leave me alone, but the thing is, you were constantly rudely saying it rather than, Drew, please, I need time. I'm sorry, but, like, if you talk to me that way, I'm not gonna, like, it's not gonna make me leave sooner. I'm sorry, I just wanted to fucking calm you down. Like, like, really? Come on, pe come on, people. Rascal, if you are watching this, I'm really sorry, but this stuff that, all, that has all happened, it's true. I'm, I'm sorry, but everybody has been doing, like, dumb shit, and we haven't been learning from any of it. Like, I'm trying so hard to learn, but when everybody else fucks up, it's just gonna, like, when they constantly just do, just do dumb shit over and over again... I, it's not gonna cause me to improve any better. I'm sorry, but a lot of you need to improve too. A lot of you just need to stop holding grudges and stop saying shit and learn that these are small problems. Okay? Just for the love of God, people. This is not healthy for our community. And yeah, Rascal needs to be notified about this so that she can actually give her thoughts. I'm... No, this needs to be done. And Briandle, I'm sorry, but adding me as a villain in your cast videos just because... I said something slightly offensive to Faith that, that, I'm sorry, but that's just real shitty. That's, that's just going to show you to be more of a bad friend. I'm sorry, but guys, if you think that I'm guilt tripping you, I'm just pointing shit out because then there's those of you who have guilt tripped me to believe things that are only my fault rather than, oh, you know, we all fucked up. So yeah, I'm sorry, but this needs to be done. I need to come out. I'm tired of just being looked at like I'm always at fault for everything. Everybody needs to just take responsibility, and we all just need to get off the damn internet and reconcile when we're done. For fuck's sakes. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, and good day.